So I'm, I'm just going to reintroduce this again. Uh, we're on, folks, with uh, Frank Thornton from RFID Security, uh, Protect the Supply Chain. And uh, Frank is, uh, I guess, the main author and, and had several associates along with, uh, with him uh, develop the book RFID Security. It is a publication that's been out there since 2005 uh, with Singrish Publishing. And uh, if you uh, want to find out a little bit more about RFID uh, from the security side of the house, uh, certainly do uh, uh, pick it up through Singrish. And uh, and Frank, I'm sure, will be happy about that. And so will Singrish. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so there's a plug for the book out there. Um, so let, let's get into this a little bit more. Is there, in, in your knowledge with these uh, magnetic stripes, is there a way actually... Uh, to protect that information? Uh, not not if the card's exposed. I mean, the, the mag stripe itself is can only be hit if it's actually passed through a reader. It's these cards with the RFID chips in them. Uh, they go under names like PayPass. Um, those are the ones that will are, are can be read remotely. And, and unless they're protected with a sleeve or a wallet that stops the radio, waves from getting out they can't you can't uh, you can read them as, as far away as you'd like uh, under certain circumstances yeah okay Frank so let's let's try and put this in context a little bit all right because I think last week we left it open-ended um, you know I, I was probably thrown a little bit by uh, the fact that we couldn't get your video and all that kind of stupid nonsense all right um, but I, I was under the impression that um, just a, just about any electronic card whether it's a gas you know, a card you use at the gas pump, a Visa card, Master, American Express, um, any kind of card that you had out there. As long as it had a magnetic stripe and you had a reader that you, unless it was in one of these sleeves, you you probably, you know, were exposed. Is that true? Not necessarily. It's, it's the cards that both have the mag stripe and the RFID chip embedded in them. Um, those cards are the ones that are at risk. If if you don't have the the card with the RFID chip, and usually they've got some symbol on them that says Pay Pass or something along those lines, uh, or Tap and Go is another one, I believe. Uh, unless it's got that kind of technology built into the card, then you, you should be okay. Hmm. Okay, so when um, when 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 this the CEO of Identity Stronghold was down uh, doing these man-on-the-street interviews, all right, and he was getting within a foot, two feet of, uh, of uh, his potential victim, let's just say, all right, um, all right, and he was reading their card. Um, he had no way of knowing whether or not there was an RFID chip built into that or not, right? That's correct. So he, he was just going by, by the possibility that the chip was there. Now, is there an industry standard where the chip is being built into most of these cards? It's coming on more and more of these cards. All right. Yeah. Um, is you know is this something that's coming up standard with Visa or Mastercard or uh, American Express? You know, those, or Discover? Those are like the major major card holders out there. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I believe it was uh, Visa a few years back had a. Uh, commercial where there was a marathon runner who was uh, going along and he would uh, he stopped in the middle of the marathon and he just kind of ran past the pay terminal and grabbed a magazine or a soda or something um, and then there's there's were a few others that uh, where people were just going into stores and just kind of walking by the terminal um, it was somewhat exaggerated as commercials tend to be but they were giving you the idea you didn't have to actually touch anything and that's that's kind of what these things are designed to do and yeah the majority of the credit cards are, are going towards this technology well you know it's it's kind of interesting because visa puts out a card right now and i think i'm i am probably one of the owners of it um and uh it's it's a card you don't have to swipe all right it's a card all you have to do is pass it over to rita and the reader will read it and yeah, that, that's and that's, that's the, the card. card <laughs> yeah, and and of course, you know, in uh, in in only the way that Visa or any of these big companies could do it. And I, I I say this with all sense of humor because you know I'm shaking my head here. Am I supposed to be a security guy? All right. And uh, my wife comes home and she says to me, 
she says, you know, we got, you know, 50 extra points because we didn't use the swipe. We used, we just, you know, if you just tap it on the top of the thing, they give you extra points back from Visa. So Visa is shaping the behavior out there uh, and the use of these cards uh, by laying extra points in their programs or whatever it is, all right, which I guess you can turn into cash or, or credits or debits or something like that somewhere along the line. So they're actually promoting the use of these, these cards with the chips in them. Oh, yeah. They want you to use that because it's the latest, greatest technology. But they, of course, don't tell you that anybody else walking by with the right equipment can also read that same information on the card. Right, right, right. Very, very interesting. So if you had one of these, what I'll, I'll call pocket protectors, uh, this actually could, uh, it could, just like your Easy Pass protector, uh, it could, uh, uh, I guess, uh, uh, block the signal. Correct. Yeah, that's that's the idea. Okay. All right. Um, anything else we gotta we need to know in that particular area? I mean, uh, anything else breaking in the RFID security area that you're aware of? Um, there there are also wallets out there. I, I uh, actually received one of those before. Uh, they look like a plain wallet that you can use the same same type of thing, same protection. All right. Um, and do you have contact information for this company? The. Uh, the, uh, the identity the stronghold is idstronghold.com. All right. Um, if, you, if you could later on, if you have any other uh, contact information, um, we certainly like to get him onto the program as well. Uh, let him uh, show us how his, uh, how his tool works and doesn't work, whatever. Um, if you could pass it off to me in a private email, I'd certainly appreciate that. Uh, sure. get, get him into the mix as well. Um, I, I think this is interesting. I intend to get into the book this this week, Frank. Um, I, I couldn't get into it last week only because of the Christmas holidays and then with the snowstorm hitting us down here. Um, as you can imagine, uh, it's been all hands on deck just getting out of the house. Uh, forget about uh, getting to work or anywhere else. All right, and uh, the kids wanted their Christmas presents, so we had to move forward. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, any, any, any other news uh, from you? Anything else going on? Can't think of a thing right now. And what part of the country are you from? I'm up in Vermont. Oh, so you're up in Vermont. Okay, so you, I guess you got uh, a glancing blow of the snow that uh, we got? We didn't get any. <laughs> uh, my sister lives up that way. She'd be, she'd be laughing at me. What part of Vermont are you from? Just outside Burlington. Oh, okay, so you're pretty far up north. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, Frank. Uh, thanks, and... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a conversation with you online, um, you know, so far as next week is concerned. Hopefully we'll have something a little bit more structured. All right. Okay. Uh, Phil just came in on the chat here. Um, we'll hit this just before we end. Uh, will simple old aluminum foil provide the same protection? Yes, it will. <laughs> now, leave, leave it to Phil to be a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, so, so all of a... Uh Aluminized uh, mylar potato chip bag. Ah, okay, very good. If you want to get the potato chip grease off there and then put your card in it, you'll be you'll be doing the same thing. Yeah, all right. And Phil has just put up a uh, a preview of your book uh, for uh, it's up at Google uh, dot com slash book. So uh, for everybody that wants to take a look at RFID security, all right and. Um, uh, you know, for Frank Thornton and, and his group to put that together, you're certainly welcome to take a chat and take a look over there, see what's going on. Uh, Frank, we look forward to it. Uh, and uh, I uh, apologize for the sloppy start this morning, uh, but we've been kind of bouncing in and off out of a lot of different things here. All right. No so, problem. Stay warm. Yep. We'll stay warm, and uh, we'll we'll catch up with you during the week. All right. So sounds uh, good. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Bye now. Bye. All right. So uh, so that.